This is our 27th year for the Energy Efficiency Forum, and our goals have been fairly constant. We want to educate uh, participants on current best practices. We want to inspire action so they can take action from the things that other organizations are doing, and finally connect them with like-minded stakeholders, whether that be from the public sector, private sector, or civil society. Energy efficiency is at the center of a major transformation of our buildings, energy systems, and urban infrastructure. Energy consumers are not just using and buying energy. They're generating energy, they're storing energy, they're controlling energy, they're also selling energy, providing valuable services to the grid and their communities. We'll be sharing research that shows over the past 10 years a wider range of benefits are being factored into energy efficiency investments. In addition to the usual reducing operating costs, things like energy security, things like attracting and retaining employees, things like greater resiliency, things like increasing the value of their properties and increasing their brand reputation, and of course environmental benefits are increasingly being factored in and driving greater investment in energy efficiency. Between the Paris Climate Agreement, the EPA Clean Power Plan, and other policy initiatives, more cities, states, utilities, building owners, and homeowners have thought about energy efficiency and the opportunities that it provides. My hope would be that we would inform and inspire those in the audience to take action and come back a year from now and tell us of their best practices and successes. Once again, we have a great lineup for the Energy Efficiency Forum. Keynote speakers include EPA Administrator Gina McCarthy, we have Senator Maria Cantwell from Washington, we also have CEO of PSENG Ralph Izzo. In addition to those great speakers, we have a panel of mayors and a panel of federal uh, leaders in energy efficiency, as well as some innovation lightning round participants. I'm sure everyone will appreciate the diverse set of views that will be presented at this year's forum.